You might call it fraud. You might call it a hack. But I can guarantee you, I'm 100% pissed off. No, 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 no intro today. I'm pissed off and I need to tell the world about what happened. A few days ago at 3.43 p.m., my Verizon cell service just went out. Completely out. All six lines. No calls, no text messages, no internet. At that time, at 3.43 p.m., I received the first of hundred of email messages. And the first one was titled, We Received Your Order. And in the body of that email, they said that I just purchased a new iPhone 14 Pro. And not only had I just purchased it, it would be ready for pickup at the Verizon location in two hours. But before I actually had time to read the title of that email, another 155 emails all flowed into my inbox within a 10 minute time frame. Then at 3.54 p.m., I went to my Verizon account online and I saw the all six lines suspended. And that the iPhone 14 Pro was indeed a legitimate email and it was there in the banner of my Verizon dashboard saying that it was ready to be picked up in two hours. After questioning everybody in the house to see who bought that iPhone 14 Pro, I went ahead and jumped online, canceled it. But in the short time that it took me to do that, those four minutes, I got another email stating that I purchased a second iPhone 14 Pro along with 228 additional random emails. It was at this time, 4.19 p.m., that I knew I needed to call Verizon and have them put a hold on my entire account to prevent any further purchases of iPhones and to restore the six lines that no longer had any service. And while I was trying to tell Verizon about the compromise of my account, and while I was trying to lock everything down, a third iPhone 14 was purchased. Luckily, and after an hour and 49 minutes of being on a phone call with Verizon, they finally did secure my account. We kicked everyone out. We restored the services and we canceled all the iPhone orders and I got my refund. At this point, you could say, hey, we can sit back, relax and celebrate. But unfortunately, that's not the end of the story. In all actuality, it's just the beginning. I was the victim of something called a line upgrade attack, along with an email bombing attack, an attempt to cover the perpetrator's actions. For Verizon accounts, it is possible to upgrade your old phone to the new iPhone 14 Pro for $0 upfront in the store. Any taxes, fees, and your remaining device costs would be redirected to your future Verizon bills. If you upgraded online and asked for store pickup, you could just walk into the Verizon store and ask the representative to give you that iPhone once it was ready for pickup. The entire process could have only taken a few minutes. In total, three iPhone 14s were ordered. Luckily, three iPhone 14s were canceled. But the grand total of these three iPhones, if they were to have been picked up at the store, would have been $0. Seeing that each one of these iPhones retail for $999, getting these three iPhones for zero, the perpetrators could easily made $3,000 if they sold them at retail price. This type of fraud scheme also occurred in Michigan. In 2022, the U.S. Attorney's Office of Eastern Michigan released a press release stating that seven individuals from Michigan purchased personally identifiable information from different dump sites, and then they used that PII to gain access to their victims' AT&T accounts and added themselves as authorized users on those accounts. In this scheme, the group would visit Apple stores and ask for a line upgrade to the victim's existing service lines. This would allow the group to get an upgrade for relatively cheap, maybe even free. These seven perpetrators conducted more than 26,000 transactions, totaling up to $28 million. The press release goes into more details, and I highly suggest that you give it a quick read. Although I do not know if this is the exact fraud attack that happened to me, I can't help but recognizing the similarities. 
There are many things that I do not know about the attack, and there is still the possibility that it could be an inside job within that Verizon store. But what I did find while I was looking at my Verizon account was this strange email attached to one of my phone lines. Upon further research, I found out that you can only change the attached email by registering on the My Verizon app using that phone number. So, it's clear that the perpetrator must own this email, right? Well, I'm not so sure. With a quick Google search, I found that this email and the email's password have been leaked onto a pastebin website. A malicious actor could have easily taken control of this account and hosted their operations from it. What really got me from a technical perspective was the fact that they were able to spam me with 445 emails within the matter of 34 minutes. Being spammed with that many emails made it almost impossible to see the Verizon purchase confirmation emails. This is called email bombing, which the attacker sets up a script that quickly scours the internet looking for websites that allow a user to easily subscribe to their newsletter. And upon subscribing to their newsletter, each site would immediately send out a newsletter confirmation email. If the attacker's script would have done this 445 times in 34 minutes, well, then the victim would have gotten 445 emails in those same 34 minutes, thus making the true crime of stealing an iPhone much more difficult to catch. So, where are we now? And what's next? Well, honestly, I have no clue. I did call up the local FBI branch and even started the two hour long drive, but an FBI agent called me about halfway through the trip and told me not to even bother. I personally, I did not lose more than a million dollars, so it wasn't worth his time. Instead, he directed me to the Internet Crimes Complaint Center website at ic3.gov. And I'll do as he says. I'll go to ic3.gov and I'll make that report. But I don't know what to realistically expect. What I do know is that I am tech savvy and I have a YouTube channel. So I am looking to all of you to help me get the word out about this type of attack so others do not fall prey to it. Share this video with everyone you know and let's get the word out. This is not a victimless crime and those who perform crimes like this, they must be brought to justice.